Welcome to the grammar video for chapter 26 of Ecce Romani. Um, we're looking at demonstrative pronouns, um, which are sometimes called demonstrative adjectives as well, as they uh, fill the role of both a pronoun and an adjective. Um, it's pronouns and adjectives. Um, so, what is a demonstrative pronoun or an adjective? Well, let's take an example. In English, we have um, the word this, which is a demonstrative. We have the word that, which is a demonstrative. We have these. And we have those. So, to pull apart the word demonstrative, it means that they... Um, point to something. So they point to something near you in position or in time, or they, that's these, they're near to you, or they point to something that's away from you in position or time. Um, so that's that or those. Um, when they're adjectives, they are modifying a noun. So they're describing a noun. So you can think, this hat. Which hat? This hat. It's in the same way that you'd say, the blue hat. Which hat? The blue one. Um, so in that sense, they're an adjective. Um, and But they, they, they can also be used just by themselves. Um, in which case, they're pronouns. They're standing in for nouns. Pronouns. Um, so you could just say, um, this uh, was a nice experience. Um, and then it's this experience was a nice experience. So this is standing in for experience. Um, um, that was a nice uh, person. Um, that is standing in for the person there. Um, so you can think of it uh, like that when they're pronouns. Um, but their forms are the same regardless of whether they're pronouns or adjectives. Let's, let's take a look. Um, at, just as with... Uh, all of our other adjectives, um, these demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns take all the same characteristics of nouns. They have gender. They can be masculine, feminine, neuter. They have number. They can be singular or plural. And they have case. So they can be nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, or ablative. Um, so, uh, total... That leads us um, to a good number of forms here that we're going to take a look at and start to memorize. Um, we have two main words. There is hick, which means this, and there is ille, which means that. Um, so we're going to go... Uh, hick and ille are the masculine singular, um, and we're going to come up with a chart. You should have it printed out on your paper, uh, and it should look something like this. So, so, as our convention goes, we have masculine, we have feminine, and we have neuter in the columns, and in the rows, we have nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative. So repeat after me. Hick. Hike. Hawk. Huius. 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 Huick. 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 Hunk. Hank. Hawk. Hoak. Hawk. Hoak. So those are the singular, meaning this. So this subject, of this, uh, to this, or for this, this direct object, and this in the ablative. Now let's take a look at the plurals. So once again we have the same columns, uh, masculine, feminine, neuter, same rows, nom, gen, dat, accusative, plural, accusative, ablative. Um, oh, excuse me, this should have. Macron there. Um, repeat after me. He, hi, hike, horum, harum, horum. 
Heese, heese, heese. Hose, hoss, hike. Heese, heese, heese. So let's take a look at some similarities between these and our normal uh, noun and adjective endings. For one, we have here in the neuter the uh, nominative and the accusative are the same exact form. This is the same in the singular with hawk and hawk. Here we have hike and hike. Um, you'll remember that we often see this the same forms uh, for nominative and accusative neuters when you look at nouns. Um, another one is the fact that in the plural, the datives match the ablatives. Exactly. Um, we have the O-R-U-M, A-R-U-M, O-R-U-M pattern here. Um, and in the singular, you can observe some other similarities with the, uh, with the noun declensions, especially with the feminine. It's A dominated as it is here as well. A, A, A. These are just like our first declension endings. Um, so moving on, we're going to see some of the same similarities in ILE. So once again, we have masculine, feminine, neuter, num, gen, dat, ac, ab. Um, repeat after me. Ile. Illa. Illud. Ilias. 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 Illy. 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 Illum. Illam. Illud. Illo. Illa. Illo. Um, some of the same uh, patterns here. The A in the feminine that you see there persists throughout. You'll notice that the ablative endings are the same um, as are some of the accusative endings. Um, moving on to the plural. So this means that, subject, of that, to that, for that, that object, and that in the ablative. And the plural of illa, we have illi, illi, Illa, illorum, illarum, illorum, illis, 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 illos, illos, illa, illis, illis, illis. And those are plurals, so this is going to mean those. Um, so that is this, these, that, and those. Um, you'll notice a lot of the same patterns here in those. Um, so the uh, the two uses of this are that we'll see it both as, as a pronoun where it is standing in the place of an, um, a noun. So a lot of times we'll see ille for that man. Um, that's nominative singular, um, that, and it means that man, um, yes, it's nominative singular, masculine, um, I suppose you could see illa for that woman, um, so that's one place where you'll see this as a pronoun, um, that's a pronoun that's kind of along with, uh, you know, me, you, those are pronouns, um, may and te, or to, and, um, we uh, we also see it used as an adjective, um, so it could be um, uh, he puery. Um, so these boys. So that's it being used as an adjective. Uh, so that should cover this lesson for demonstrative pronouns. We're going to work on drilling these, um, which basically means I'm going to have you for a couple of classes write out the whole system um, a couple times with notes, and then we'll try just a quick 
um, a quick quiz on it without notes. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.